Hi. Okay. All right. I got it all live and ready. <clears throat> so today I wanted us to talk about Harvest Hellos, which is this great set. It's actually retiring and it's kind of breaking my heart a little because I absolutely love this particular stamp set. I wanted to put this down and hopefully this can be my thumbnail. Um, if or maybe I'll take a photo of it later but um, I just loved uh, Harvest Hellos is this great stamp set that has a lot of versatility many people have said oh well it's just for you know teachers and um, and Halloween but actually I find that I there's a lot of stuff going on with it I feel like I can use it in a, a lot of ways and so I actually find it to be really useful I actually oh there's one thing I want to grab before I have a start our um before I have a start our actual little class because there was one version I wanted to show you one second Okay, oops, there we go. Alrighty, so there's a couple different versions. So I find it to be a really good um, stamp set. I personally love it. And um, let's see, all right, I wanted to make sure I was following at the same time. <laughs> so, um, so, okay, so, um, as you can see, it's the is the focus technically, I guess, would be Halloween, but there's so much more you can do with this, way more than I think people realize. So I did a bunch of little samples to show you some options of what can be done. So let me grab those versions. So obviously you can do a standard card, just a standard basic you know card this is actually just a little half card which I'm gonna actually have us make a half card together um, and then you you know if you wanted to use just standard ink to you know to stamp it up I love using it I think it's a perfect little card just for basic we always call it stamps ink and paper because really even though I absolutely love uh, stamping up and all the elaborate things we can do. I also love it when I can just make a simple card that's adorable and I can send it off and um, people will like it. And so I just, you know, I like that. This would be perfect for a little teacher gift and I even stamped the little seeds inside which I thought was a fun touch. Then I had the Hello There Pumpkin which I also liked and I thought that would be a fun little, a fun little card. Um, we're going to stamp ba a, a simple basic card like this, but then we're also going to do these bigger ones, um, these other ones. So you can just stamp any basic card you want, which is fine. I just love the basic white. And even though there's this space up here, I actually don't mind it. I feel like sometimes cards don't need to be super fancy and they can just be, you know, basic. So here you go with that. And then the other thing I realized is I could easily stamp that... I could easily stamp that pumpkin on a white piece in the middle of one of these memories and more cards. And these are the flowers for every season memory and more cards. And they're on clearance for $8 right now. But we often have memory and more cards that are only $8 and they're white. And I'm going to show you more of those. But these ones um, are currently $8. I think full price. They were normally $11 or something. But I could easily, like the zebra card I had done before, um, which is right here. I had done those zebra cards a few weeks ago and I just stamped the zebra inside and that's it and just added this little white to the top of the basic card. You can do the same thing with the pumpkins or the apples and I thought that's a fun option of a card um, to do. And then 
If you want to add more dimension, you could easily stamp on cardstock and punch them out. See, it has this great punch that goes with it. And these are both retiring. They won't be available after June. Um, and so I'm pretty sure June 4th or something. So they won't be available after June. So this is all we're gonna get, you know? So um, I love that I can stamp this on a basic, you know, piece of cardstock, punch it out. And I stamped this on the white and then laid it over. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. All right, and then I stepped it up a little bit and did one of these, which is what we're gonna do here in a minute. Um, and then, uh, oh, this one I'll show you later. Okay, so there we go. So those are my basic cards that I created. And I like that I can just do something simple with even just the actual stamps, ink, and paper, or I can be more elaborate and use some some cardstock. Oh, this one I did with, um, I love Cinderella, and so I thought it would be fun to use Pool Party, and this is um, Pretty Peacock, and Rich Razzleberry, and I thought it would be fun to make a Cinderella pumpkin, and I just thought that was kind of a fun idea. And so, there's a lot more versatility to this set than people realize. And I put this on dimensionals. Because I punch it out, I always like to use dimensionals when I'm punching things out. If you looked at the red one, the red and green apples, the green one was flat on the back and the red ones popped off. Just to give that little bit of dimension. Because remember Monday, Magic Monday is our easy card class. So I try to keep things as simple as possible for our easy card class. And we're gonna be doing these ones here in a minute. And I'm gonna show you how I did these ones with DSP, which just kind of step it up just a little bit more than a standard ink and paper. So what I have here is I have this little card. This is a, um, this is from the Memories and More card pack. It comes with 20 cards, 10 of the large and 10 of the small, and it comes with envelopes up for the same size. So these would be perfect for a gift. I don't believe these ones can be mailed. I think they're a little bit too small. I think they have to be a little bit bigger to mail them, but they're just right for a simple card like the one I was showing you before, with just the simple um, teacher, or um, we could easily make it a, I'm a teacher myself, so I obviously love the apples probably a little more than others. But I also thought these would be cute place cards um, cute place cards for school, like a teacher could do it. Welcome back, there's a welcome back so a teacher could make them for other kids. Also, you could give it to a teacher, but these would also be fun place cards for um, a Thanksgiving feast kind of thing. So, oh, I took my, oh, so this one, I'm actually, I need to get my ink. I'm missing my, my ink, okay, so, <clears throat> for here, <clears throat> this one's a little bit um, shorter. So this one is two and a half by four and a quarter to, uh, for this one as a place card. This is a memories and more card because I can put it in a nice little card and give it as a gift, okay? So that's the benefit of the memories and more. But wouldn't these be cute as a little place card for even, you could do even do this one for the harvest. You could do, um, do this as a, not harvest, um, you could do this for Thanksgiving at the you know Thanksgiving table and put someone's name next to it as a little place card. That's the word. All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and do the red. So I'll go ahead and stamp the red apple. Oops. I'm using real red ink, and I I don't have the large ink pads because I have a small apartment, so I just stick to the small ones, and then I can have like dozens and dozens of colors and it's no problem. And when I don't have um, an ink spot, these come from the paper pumpkin when they have the nice little label on top. If I don't have an ink spot with the label, I just buy one of the blank ones and I fill it. And so let me go ahead and stamp my apple in the corner here. Sorry, I'm moving the table a little. There we go. Get a little more light on there. I'm out of the frame. So stamp my apple in the corner, pick it up, perfect. Then what I did is I punched out a little um, apple, there it is, with some scrap paper. I punched out this apple from scratch paper 
And another trick when you're wanting to punch out is if you stamp, if you stamp inside these squares, then when you go to punch it, you can punch out all of it at the, the together. And now we are not punching out little pieces. These ones would all be different colors, but sometimes when you have a little um, a punch like this, it's good to punch out a template. And that way, if I wanted my, my, my label and my stem and everything all to be red, I can just stamp them all in this little stencil. And then when I put my paper in it, I can punch it out. That's just a little trick. So, all right, so now in order to get my stem on, I don't wanna get the stem too far down. So I use uh, my scrap apple, and hopefully you can see the, the apple. And I will just do a little, um, I'll take my, this is Cajun Craze, so I use Real Red, Cajun Craze, and Granny Apple Green. Now, this stamp is a little squishy, so you have to be careful not to press too hard with it. Some of the rubber stamps, I press a little too hard, and so I, um, you, you'll get a little halo, they call it, around the edge of your, of your stamp. So it's a little squishy, so you don't wanna press too hard, just press right down and right back up. There we go, got it perfectly in place on the apple. And I can do the same thing actually with the leaf. I can take my granny apple leaf and I can ink it up. I wanna have a little leaf off to the side, but I don't want it to get too far down into the apple. So you see how I'm moving it down just a little. I'm not totally down, but just a little bit so I can make sure I don't run off. And I wanna get my little apple leaf in there, but I don't want it to go too far into the red. There we go, perfect. I got it just right. All right, so there we go. So using this little masking tail techniques technique will help you a lot when you're trying to make sure you don't get into the other part of the stamp when you're using more than one color. You know, that's that's the problem is if it's all the same color, no one cares. All right, and then we'll put to an A plus teacher, and I'm going to put that one in green. And in order for me to get this straight, I actually am going to use a little. Um, I was using a scrap piece of um, paper to go across and that just helped me keep it a little straight. I try to make sure that this little strip is straight and I know that it's just trying to make sure I keep my my wedge just right you know to keep it so it's not a big deal because I can always cover it up if I make a mistake and get it off but if you ever need help guiding your your let me see oh there we go it's okay so it was just a little, my, my granny apple green is like extra juicy. So I have to be a little careful not to press too hard. All right, and I'm just gonna, I think this is straight. All right, I can use that as a guide. Or I'm just gonna wing it and see how I do. All right, it's a little bit crooked. So I actually could ha um, cover it up with another piece of cardstock. So because I made it a little bit crooked, I could easily use another piece of cardstock. Um, let's see, let me grab a little scrap and see what I can do. Let me grab it. So let me grab, let's see, let's just do a little red. Okay, so I'll stamp. The green won't show up too well on the red, but this is Poppy Parade. I just have this scrap here. So let me stamp two and A plus teacher in there and then take my oval punch so remember, anytime you make a mistake, don't throw it out. Oops, let me, okay, it's a little bit big. I actually want it smaller. Let me see if I can reach it from this side. Ah, there we go. I like the, this is our double overall punch. There we go, perfect. So because I didn't get it exactly right, I can just take an oval and cover it or take another piece of white and make this 3D and add it to it. So you never really make a mistake. That's the part that I love about crafting is that you can usually cover up a mistake. It's just a tiny bit crooked. I'm probably just gonna leave it, but I just wanted to show you, you can always fix a mistake nine times out of 10, okay? All right, so we're done with that one. All right, and then, so that's a simple basic card, and this is from the Memories and More pack, so it actually even has a matching, um, oh, I wanted to put the, oh, seeds, I put them away. Um, it has a, a, I can easily make this a matching envelope 
by adding uh, I can add the leaf I'll add the leaf to the envelope I'll add the leaf to the inside instead of the seeds maybe because the seeds is away are away all right so there we go a little leaf on the outside I always like to add a little something to my my card so a little leaf on the outside of the envelope and send that to a teacher friend you know why not okay so perfect then I wanted us to do these ones here again these are very simple too sometimes I don't want to use just plain cardstock like I did on this one over here because sometimes you just want your cards to be a little fancier you know sometimes you just want the cards to be a little more stepped up well how can I make a simple card but still have it be stepped up well you can use traditional cardstock and that's fine too like that's nothing wrong with that at all okay and it's totally adorable I love it okay but I also could use the great DSP that we have. We happen to have some DSP called, um, it is called Artistry Blooms. And you'll see it is super gorgeous. Look at all the crazy colors of this cardstock. And so it has these really fun colors and it it's just really bright and silly. And I really loved it. And actually one of them, happen to have and there's another one with some navy on it it's just a really great fun cardstock with a lot of versatility this one had a lot of purple on it this one just was fun and this one where's my other piece there's one more piece I'm missing. oh there it is and then this one actually had some orange on the side over here and so that's how i made this uh, pumpkin card is it was an orange edging and so i stamped my pumpkin on there and I punched it out and I made my little pumpkin easy peasy you know no big deal and so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to make the apple card with um, just with this DSP here and so I'm going to go ahead and just use black to stamp my apple because let me clean off my stamp even though I'm gonna stamp it into black it's not gonna to the reds not gonna kill the the black it's just always good to clean your stamp before you you know before you go and do something else this is called a stamp and chamois and it's just you just clean with your stamps with water and it's just a little sponge that helps you clean off your stamps so let me go ahead and let me ink up my black apple and I'm gonna press it here you it all you could have also used brown if you wanted so I'm gonna press that straight down and there you go now I got a green apple I thought how fun is that just to use, and this has that tiny bit of texture on it, just that little bit of polka dot -y. It's not a polka dot, but it has that polka dot look to it. And so it's actually like a striped polka dot. If I hold it up a little closer to the camera, you'll see it's like a, got a little different texture to it. It's not exactly a polka dot. And so then we go ahead and we pop this out. Done. And let's take my, oops. There. take a scrap piece of white and I'm gonna stamp my a plus teacher and I think I'm gonna stamp it in green like I did before um, instead of black and I'll punch out my oval okay and this is poppy parade um, red technically it's not real red I just happen to have a piece of poppy parade close by so I use that one punch out my little oval it's just a basic card now I have a little oval I can save for something later I could have used that oval instead okay and there you go I have my little card where's my red All right I'm still going to use my brown for my craze Cajun craze for my stem but here's the trick to make sure I get my stem in exactly the right place, I'm going to use the same technique essentially I did with the masking of the other card. But the only difference is that I'm gonna move this away a little bit out so I can get the full stem on there. So we'll go ahead and inst I want it to be right there. So I actually will just move away my apple so that I can get it down. I don't necessarily want to cut it off and then have it maybe be too short for the apple when I put it on. And then the leaf, I need to do the leaf. And I'm gonna do the leaf in green 
And even though it's, it's hard to tell, when you look up close, you'll see the green leaf, right? It dries where you can see just enough of the green leaf. So we've got almost like a golden delicious looking apple here. So you can slightly see that little green leaf in the, there we go. You can almost see that little green leaf when you're, it's up close more, okay? It still comes out. Use some dimensionals and that card is done. I am just, you know, simple, easy peasy. Might as well just keep things simple and easy if you can. Okay, good. There we go, done. All right, so we've got that going and then I've got my A plus teacher, which I'm just gonna glue I'm not gonna put it on dimensionals because I don't think it needs it. Right. I'm just gonna put it off to the side here. Make sure it's even. There we go, done. Do an A plus teacher, done. Okay, so there you go. There's my simple, super easy, you know, um, apple card. Then I wanted, um, I'm not going to make this pumpkin card because I ran out of orange on that edging, now it's more pink. I was using that sunset edge here to, you know, to punch out my pumpkin. But how cute is that? I mean, all I used was Cajun craze, punched out, you know, used and black to punch out. I could have even used brown to give a little more texture to it. And that was the end of it. That's all I did. I actually thought it would be fun to show you a different crazy, like fun version of a card like I said, I love Cinderella, and so I actually love pumpkins. It's a thing with me. I absolutely love pumpkins. So I thought it'd be fun to do a Cinderella pumpkin, and I did that on this basic card. Well, I thought, why not just do a purple pumpkin? You know, who's to say? Just to have fun with it. Not everything has to be done. I love that when I use the DSP, everything is colored. I don't have to worry about coloring it because it's already done. I could even use this one, actually. No, I don't like this one against this pink. I'm gonna use the purple again. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp with my purple onto the purple. That keeps going off, sorry. I went ahead and did color on color because of the fact that I wanted, um, I wanted to make sure that I, I didn't like the idea of the black because you know, sometimes you don't need to have it be black. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna stamp it straight down. And I did cut this into a two inch strip because it's easier to fit it into the punch when I cut it into a two inch strip. I love this little apple. I'm not, I don't think I'm getting rid of this stamp set for a long time because it's just too perfect as a teacher. So then I just pop out my pumpkin you just fit it in there. And I always punch upside down because then I can see what I've stamped before I punch it out. Here's my perfect little pumpkin. Where's my pink? And here's my little pink card. And so again, I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use purple to stamp my leaf and my stem uh, or my little stem and my stem and little vine. Okay, so same idea. I'm gonna move my little DSP piece to the side. I'm gonna turn, when you turn the stem this way, now it looks like a pumpkin stem. When it's this way, it looks more like an apple stem. But I've, I've done them both ways and no one has ever noticed. That's the way I like things. Just, you know, you just do the best you can and it's great. I rarely think something is a mistake. And I know I say that a lot. I'm gonna move it down a little. Because, I mean, that's just the way, I, that's the way I teach that um, as, a, as an instructor, I, mean, I teach English as a second language, but that's also when I taught public school, it was the same thing. We didn't really, I said we never really made mistakes because you could always fix a mistake. Oh, it's a little bit low, so I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna see too much of that vine. So I actually might do another one over on this side a little higher. I'm gonna move my stamp over, I think, because it's off. 
it's not centered on my block. So let me move my vine over just a little. There we go. So now when I pump, put my pumpkin on top, you'll see a nice little vine on each side. So there we go. And we'll get my dimensionals. Uh, tomorrow there will be a clearance uh, rack uploading in Stampin' Up. So be ready for that at 1 a.m. tonight. The clearance rack will be open. So be ready to purchase. Oh, how cute is that? Ah, so cute. And then I'm just going to punch. Oh, you know what? I had that other little, um, I had that little oval piece here somewhere. I don't think I, there it is. Maybe I'll stamp hello there pumpkin here in this oval and stamp and add like a little something. Let's see, it might be a little too big because I punched this out accidentally. So there you go. Oh, perfect. It's, it looks great. I don't need to do any extra. I thought, why not do a pink pumpkin? Why not? It's fun. Or a purple pumpkin on a pink card. This is Magenta Madness cardstock and this basic cardstock base. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. That's it. So there's our, our two cards. So we made this card. And we made this card. That's it. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Remember, um, and so as you can see, I like the idea of just using some DSP, some you know designer series paper we call it, to color your pumpkin, color your apple. Uh, in this case, I kept it traditional, just, just keep one style traditional, but why not go and do something a little crazy? But you can also find DSP that would be harvest colored, and that's actually what on Friday, we're not doing this card exactly, but I this is an old designer series paper that I did. And as you can see, this is really elaborate. I stamped all of these leaves using some different um, uh, foliage uh, stamp sets. And then I punched out this pumpkin from this shiny, shimmery, uh, I forget, it was like frosted floral designer series paper or something. And I just loved how this turned it. This, these were my Cinderella, thank you cards, I believe. Yeah, these were my Cinderella thank you cards. And I thought, how fun is that? I mean, Cinderella pumpkin would obviously be shimmery and why not have it be blue? So you, the sky is the limit on what you can do with this set and how you can interpret it differently. Pumpkins are, yes, traditionally, um, pumpkins are orange and, you know, you obviously, there's other types of pumpkin. There is a blue type of pumpkin, but and yellow and things like that, but why not change it up and do other things with it? So if you would like to order Harvest Hellos and the matching apple slash pumpkin, it's an apple punch they call it, let me close it. You can go to fabulousstamper.com and click on shop. Be sure to use this host code. Um, but look at even the sentiments, give thanks, hey there pumpkin, feel better. I loved my using this for a feel better card. Um, you make me smile. That would be perfect for the jack-o'-lantern, but it could be for anything in addition to the A-plus teacher and welcome back, you know, but look how cute the, um, the seeds are, especially when you stamp them inside a card. I think that looks really fun. So as an accent or on an envelope. All right. Well, our class is super short today. I didn't have a lot to show you because I wanted to keep our cards as simple as I could. You can stamp them traditionally like this, or you can go wild and stamp them like this, you know, and, and add a purple pumpkin. Why not? How fun. I think I'm going to send this to my best friend because she loves purple. So just to, you know, keep things different, change it up. All right. Well, I hope you had a great day. And if you have any questions, please like my video and share it if you think it's fun or if you think another friend might find this set interesting, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day, guys. And thanks for supporting me and following me. I, I'm, you know, just appreciate all the love and support that I get from you guys. And um, you have a great day. Thanks so much.